I really don't understand how people could blame Aaron Rodgers for the Jets' failures this season. The Jets are coming off a tough win against the Texans, but their record still stands at 3-6. Before the season, we thought the Jets would be one of the best teams in the AFC. They had a tough first game against the 49ers, but nobody really thought that they would go into San Fran for Rodgers' first game back and win. But they did beat the Titans and the Patriots the following weeks. It was really looking good for the Jets. Then they started to lose some games. They fired their head coach, Robert Sala, and they continued losing. I honestly thought that firing Sala was not the right decision that early. Rodgers wasn't playing his best, but he certainly wasn't the problem like many were saying. They just look a bit lost. It's very, very bad. And Aaron Rodgers' fingerprints are all over it because he was supposed to be the saving grace. First of all, the Jets' offensive line is bad. It doesn't help that Rodgers can't move like he used to, but that is no excuse. Especially when you have a guy like Tom Brady, who's probably the least mobile quarterback of all time when he was on the Bucks. He had no problems. Quarterbacks should have time to get the ball off, whether he's mobile or not. Then, let's go back to the Bills game, where they were driving downfield and Rodgers threw to a wide open Mike Williams, but Williams would end up slipping and causing an interception. How was that Rodgers' fault? Then, let's go to the Steelers game, where Rodgers hit a wide open Garrett Wilson in the chest, but it bounces off of it and puts the Steelers in great field position. How was that Rodgers' fault? Then, let's go back to the second Patriots game, where they were winning, yet the Jets' defense allowed a 70-yard drive to Jacoby Brissett to end the game. How was that Rodgers' fault? And then, let's go back to the Texans game, where Malachi Corley drops the ball before the end zone, one of the stupidest things you could do. Then, the Jets allow a 98-yard drive that puts the Texans up on the board first. How is that Rodgers' fault? Now, I know I'm starting to sound like an Aaron Rodgers fanboy, but I'm not. I never really cared for Aaron Rodgers. I'm really just pointing out the delusion and thoughts that people have on Rodgers this year. Rodgers already has hate due to his personality. So now that the Jets are losing, even though it's not really Rodgers' fault and more so the team around him is playing like a JV team, people are starting to double down. Now the Jets' season isn't over yet. They can definitely make the playoffs. They're in a pretty easy division. I don't think they're going to win the division against the Bills. All right, losing that second game to the Patriots does not help, but I think they'll have a better record than the Patriots. I think they can definitely have a better record than the Dolphins. The Bills, though, is going to be tough. They should have won that Bills game. All right, Mike Williams slipped. It is what it is. They definitely need to win in Buffalo, all right, if they want to still stay in the division. So I don't know about winning the division, but three and six, the AFC is tough. Football is tough in general. It's going to be tough, but they're not out yet. All right, they hire Jeff Ubrick. Well, I guess they bump him up after Robert Sala gets fired, which I think it was too early. Listen, I know Robert Sala was pretty mediocre already, but you know, he still did not have enough time to do what he needed to do with Aaron Rodgers. Only a couple games in with Aaron Rodgers. Last year, he did pretty good without Aaron Rodgers. Struggling the first part of the season, you don't got to fire him right away. I think they should have definitely waited it out. They didn't though. It is what it is. Ulbrich's the coach now and they win. That was a pretty good win against the Texans, but it was definitely sloppy in the first half. The defense was selling. We almost saw another guy, Conklin, almost fumble the ball for a touchdown. Thankfully, it was called back though for Jets. I'm not even a Jets fan. I'm just trying to say like, you got to point out the delusion. And then we look at Aaron Rodgers' stats. All right, he's not playing terrible. His completion percentage isn't the best. All right, I mean, the time's not there. He needs to throw the ball off. Wide receivers are dropping it. But he's throwing for 2,107 yards right now, 15 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. You know, Rodgers was never really known for turning the ball over much. You know, a lot of interceptions at this point of the year. But like I said, the one against the Steelers bounced off Garrett Wilson's chest. Not Rodgers' fault. The one where Mike Williams slips, not Rodgers' fault. Jets have a lot of drop passes. They have also have a lot of penalties. They think they're like top five in the league for most penalties. So that definitely does not help. The defense is solid. It's, it's, it's you know, inconsistent, I guess you could say. Allowing drives, a 98-yard drive, you can't be doing that. All right, allowing a 70-yard drive against Jacoby Brissett and the Patriots, you can't be doing that. All right, so the team around him is playing like a JV team, all righty? And it's not... Just Rodgers' fault. I'm just trying to point that out. Could he play better? Absolutely. But everyone's calling for Rodgers to retire. Everybody's calling for Rodgers to be washed. You got to watch the game. You got to understand the team around him is playing like garbage. He had some overthrows. Sure. I'm looking back at the Texans game again. Devontae Adams beat his guy. Good route. Aaron Rodgers threw a perfectly placed ball. Could have put them in field goal position. Right through Devontae Adams' heads. I mean, come on. Uh, come on, how can you blame Rodgers for that? All right, he makes throws. I can see the frustration out there. A lot of people hate Rodgers too because he throws his players under the bus. He's just calling it out. He's not really throwing his players under the bus. He's just really giving an honest opinion, which I'm sure we could all agree. He's frustrated out there. He's probably the most longest playing quarterback in the league, obviously. All right, one of the oldest. He's been around for a while. He understands that, right? He's playing with young guys. They can be frustrating. I can definitely understand that. But let me know what you guys think down below. Is it Aaron Rodgers' fault? No, it's not. It's not Aaron Rodgers' fault. Could he play better? Yes. But let me know what you guys think of my opinion. Alrighty.
Rodgers could play better. But stop blaming this season on him. I'm out, guys. Peace.